Hi, I'm Tom Mannion. I'm the Senior Director for Student Activities and Programs at Caltech. Today, we're going to have an opportunity to talk about how to cook biscuits in the Southern style and talk a little bit about the science of that, which is a really important feature of making a biscuit. When you add water to a flour, it, it adds to the gluten and expands and makes it nice and gummy or chewy if you're eating a bagel. But if you're making a fast bread or a biscuit, you want it crumbly and flaky, so it has to be lower gluten. A real flour, all purpose, is about 12% um, protein or gluten, and the uh, soft winter wheat is nine. So we have flour, we have shortening, and we have buttermilk, and that's all. And this is two cups of the self-rising white lily. Then we're gonna add shortening. So our first step is to cut the shortening into the flour. Look for P-shaped balls of dough forming. If you don't have a pastry cutter, this is all you need, two forks. And last but not least, buttermilk. And now I'm just gonna use a fork. You do not want to overwork this, again, because you don't want the gluten to really bind too much. So the flour is making the dough not stick to my hands. I don't want to overwork this dough. Start pushing it out to about one inch, right? And then we just get the biscuit cutter and cut biscuits. Now this is important. We're gonna actually make sure they touch. The reason you wanna make sure they touch is you want them to rise upward and not out. So you wanna get some depth and height so it keeps it moist and nice and fluffy inside. Um, we're gonna put it in the oven that's been preheated to 475 and cook them for about eight to 10 minutes. It's now time to take the biscuits out and they look great. The last step after they come in the oven is a little bit of butter melted and brushed on the top. Here we go, ready to eat. Mm. <laughs> really? <laughs>